uh, due to the fact that sword characters are very dangerous on any platform too. Yeah. Um, but hopefully Lost can get a lot of his combos, extensions, swing off the side, hopefully get an early pick with a nice fair. Um, but that remains to be seen as we move into game number one of set two, Lofts versus Caesar Salad. I'm very excited to see what Lofts has to offer in this matchup coming from that Rider game. Hopefully he's completely recovered his mindset and can get good combos off. Try and beat out the sword character on a very sword character map. He gets the grab, goes for the down throw, tries the combos, but he, his opponent gets away. Couldn't seem to find the hit. And again, like you said, Swordy, using his Swordy aerials and movement as well with the, uh, with, with a lot of nares and jabs, coming at a hit stun. Lost right. currently 71 to Caesar Salad's 55. He's definitely trying to find any fireball punches that he can. If any fireball stun does give him an advantage of not being able to get hit. And we did see some lag coming in there. Uh, unfortunate there. Unfortunate for both players. Hopefully it's not from the... Think that might be a, uh, think, think that might be a POV issue for us, but Lofts doing really good chasing after getting these down hair, these down hair hits on platform. Very scary for him to go for those uppies oh, though. He could... Fortunately, he missed the jab back air. Very scary for those uppies to come in too, because if his opponent decided to fast fall down, it would have been over for Lofts. Lofts also DIs out of we got tilt. So he's able to recover on the stage, giving him a second chance to get the hit. And great punish there by Lofts with the up smash after burning blade went ahead and ate the shield. And Caesar Salad missing that second attempt to jab back here. Lofts percent might be a little too high for him to get that. He might have to offer something more so like a jab, uh, like a jab up there. coming, went for the reverse cape, but couldn't seem to go anything after that. Losing the stock, but getting some small percentage off on Caesar Salad. I think that's pretty good extra, uh, extra credit that Lofts got there with his first stock, but now he's got to find a way to push that advantage even more and ensure that he doesn't really take a lot more percent than he needs to before closing out Caesar's second stock. It seems like he's doing just that. I think Loss has to definitely look out for is getting out of that air occasionally. That fastball has to come in very quickly or else the Caesar side can profit very, very easily. Forward throw, trying to look for that flood. He seems to always go for it. Never actually, I've never seen it work out before. That's a great forward, forward smash punish. punish. Again, punishing Burning Blade, but in a different time, but in a different way this time. Ooh, good counter there by Caesar Salad to catch out the forward smash. Understood that Lost was going to be a little antsy there. But Lost caught him with the fireball midair. Jab up air, no jab back air. Fake as hell. <laughs> Burning Blade again missed while Lost getting a small punish. Unfortunately, that he can't catch Lost trying to definitely find that read. Went for that grab. He thought uh, Caesar Salad would be chasing him, but it doesn't seem like Caesar has that in mind. Caesar's definitely trying to play very, very, very neutral, but can't seem to find an opening. Lofts finding all these openings, racking up percent. So all he needs to do is get this two stock and then get a one stock next game Back to here. rack it up. Yeah, like you said, Caesar playing very defensive. Side B a little, uh, didn't get the strong hit, not gonna kill yet. Lost recovers onto stage, very, very scary for him there. Lost has got to find a way to play for his stock if he wants to keep this in the Gale's favor. Kind of let Caesar force a lot of the interactions that they have right now. He's kind of playing patient. Both players really want to keep this stock in their hand. Lost to get the uh, point advantage Caesar so that he can ensure can't see that his team gets a better get statement. Gets for the kill! Again, great. Perfect from Lost to see that coming after the Ryder games. Perfect advantage for Lofts here. All he has to do is win the next match to tie it up. If if not, get a better position and lead. Because like you said, Gales came out of set one with a uh, with one two five out one one stock two stock on Mozen, and uh, you know Lofts is doing a great job right now, swinging back with a nice two stock. Um, again, to your point earlier about stages in this, uh, you know, looking at the stage list, trying to plan and think about what Lofts might want to uh, counter pick. I think Town and City is a big one. Because um, given the nature of a lot of boys' attacks, side B, jab back air, smash attacks, they really rely on him getting close to the edge. Yeah, and with those extra platforms on the edge, it definitely helps out Loft in mainly recovery and trying to find new openings to combo off, especially on Town and City where the smaller blast zones, zone, smaller blast zones on the side, it may help Loft, but honestly, I think I think it gives much more of a much more of a advantage to Caesar in this situation. That is true. Caesar just because it always just go up to oh, those platforms, get the easy call Loft, and then instantly come back to center stage mm -hmm. to control the neutral once again. Um, again, thinking about the stage list at hand, I think Loft really wants to keep himself on a lot of either neutral stages or stages that advan that give him advantages. Uh, I think he's going to keep something like uh, PS2 and small battlefield in play. Um, normal battlefield, really good for him. Get, it helps him get a lot more um, 
combo game off than I don't, I don't Caesar, really I think. I don't think that Lofts wants to see any completely flat stages, because those stages could be very detrimental to him, um, as Mario is a very combo yeah. character requiring platforms to continue going on. Although, playing on a stage like FD, I think not having the platform extensions gives a little bit more credence to Caesar um, controlling a lot of the stage where most loss has to do is kind of contest landing with fireball. But if Caesar gets it, but if oh, Caesar going to small battlefield, yes. oh, we could see lofts popping off with the small battlefield or even Caesar with some good combos on those. He's definitely locked in right now. There's no way he's not picking that music and he's not feeling the way that he's playing right now. Uh, but small battlefield pretty much treat you can pretty much treat this stage the same way that you treat PS2. Uh, there's only small differences. Blast on sizes might differ, but I don't I, I don't know if that's there at all. Uh, but the one reason for me at least when I when I play I love the one reason I love small battlefield compared to PS2 is the distance from ledge to platform is smaller, so it makes uh, it makes ledge trapping a lot easier for uh, someone like me who plays Krom. And we might see those uh, those advantages come out to play for Caesar here. Uh, yeah. Lops definitely trying to get a read on that jump though, onto Caesar, trying to see if he can grab an early spike down, maybe even like bait some recovery, but couldn't seem to find it. And Caesar got some good early percentage off on Lops, but about seems to be a very neutral tied game i see both players kind of just standing still occasionally i don't know if it might be due to lag or them not knowing if they were doing a button check beforehand i think uh i think caesar is actually playing a lot more defensively in the start of this round he's kind of waiting for lofts to make a lot of the opening moves and really take the punish off of that there uh, oh, oh very early on the shield losing and getting hit by that side dude tempted to contest the recovery of, of up three. catching the fireball contestment Run back okay, forward till forward smash in this first spot. Yeah. But Caesar's playing a lot more patient here now, getting a lot of the punish game off Lofts, and he's kind of just waiting for him to make a lot of the additional moves. Lofts is also at like a very good kill percent on down smash. smash. Good user, so he can get the kill here. Maybe even just a little bit longer. Great, great use of flood there to catch Caesar on a little bit of a high recovery there with Uppy and just you know extra measures of cape to ensure that that stock dissipates far sooner than it should ever that, though, we do get a reset on the stock and percentage. Could go in lost favor, but he's taking a lot of early percentage. He has to try and play a bit more neutral, try and find any options that he can, and build up some percent. Jab up air. Tempting to chase with the up air again. Burning blade to get a little bit of a hit. The lost really, really has to find a way to mitigate a lot of what Caesar's doing. A lot of what I'm seeing Caesar do here is jab up air, but can't seem to DI out of this one. And gets hit by the side B and side B to close out the stock. Lost has to play a little bit safer now. Can't really take a lot of the risks as you know, if he loses this next stock, it, it gives Quinnipiac the chance of, of closing out the set. Chasing with up B, but couldn't seem to grab that up B. Hopefully he'll just give it to you this time and get it. But he seems to also be letting go of the shield very, very early, causing him to take some percentage that he doesn't want to take. It's just side B down variant to give a little bit more percent, and Caesar's gonna go ahead and shark into these platforms and get a lot of this up air use. Jab, no back air, loss, oh, luckily being able to air dodge out. For that point. Looking for an up smash, Caesar's gonna neutral get up, and now Loss is gonna two frame the recovery. Loss at 70. With Caesar at 155 on two stocks, Lofts has to find the kill now, or it is never going to come through. Lo yeah, like you said, Lofts really has to find a way to close out this stock if he really wants to keep it close in contention with Quinnipiac. But at the same time, he's got to find a way to keep himself safe and play for his stock. Any side B, I think, at this percentage from Caesar will cost Lofts the game here. Jab, up air, but he's going to get weak up air, so he's not going to get much off of it. Now, smash out a shield punish is going to put Lofts in a one-stock scenario here with uh, Caesar Salad, but he's got to find a way to rack up a lot of this percent. This is very dangerous for Lofts. If he's still side B, could cost him the game. He's trying to fish for any attempt that he can to send him off stage. Upwards variant of side B. Weak jab. Weak down tilt. Lofts keeping himself safe from the tech recovery. Lofts is playing very, very best. Parry forward tilt. Parry forward tilt on the fireball. Great play from Caesar there. Uh, you know, I, th I th honestly, I think Caesar made a lot of necessary adjustments. Adjustments there. Moving from game one to game two, playing on a very similar stage, changed a lot of his play style, played a lot more defensively. And although Lofts may have adapted to it halfway through, uh, you know, he's just got to find a way to beat it out a little bit sooner. And, um, I mean, Lofts just has to look for any chance that he can next game to get Caesar down by two stocks and tie it up for the, uh, uh Gales. Yeah. Looking into, uh, game three now, um, 
In terms of bans, I think Caesar's gonna keep something like Town and City definitely on the board because it benefits him way more than it benefits Lofts. I think he's gonna kill off uh, stages like Yoshi's, Battlefields. Uh, we always see Yoshi's going very, very yeah. early. Seems well, like the reason, well, the reason the for that... It also benefits Lofts very easily with his air combos to get that yeah. very low ceiling kill. Well, the reason well the reason you see a stage like Yoshi's banned so often is because a lot of players don't want to deal with the sticky blast zones because you can kill off the top super easy and it just makes it like and that's what makes it, 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 makes it, it makes it fun trash players don't like having oh we hate fun we hate fun in this game if you if you think we play this game for fun you're out of your damn mind um but again back to you she's uh people players feel like they get cheesed out of stocks because of the high blast zones and also sometimes uh the slants on the ledge it messes up uh a lot of ledge trapping that players have uh i that, that's why that I, I hate it the i hate it. on that ledge are very 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 scary yeah. But Loft moving FG, FG for game three. Now, 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 I think this is more of a scary situation for Lofts more than Caesar Salad, as there's not much room for Lofts to continue his combos off. While Caesar, all he has to do is touch the floor and keep going and keep Lofts at a very like medium to low ground level. Caesar with a skin switch to moving to green run. Person, my favorite of the war selection colors. Um, you just cringe for that. I think red just fits the best for every character in this game. That looks gross on it, man. I hate it. Uh, but Loft really has to find a very, way. Very, very nice trades from the two of them right there at the start. Loft's trying to find any early chance that he can to go through. But that up variant of side B just comes in and dinks Loft a little. Solid percent going up 50 on his opponent. Jesus. Caesar's definitely got the inherent um, advantage here on stage since Loft doesn't really have any way to fight around sword besides for rolls, um, shielding, shielding and jump, running away. Up but he gets that, that, that challenge get down air. Too early. No down smash before the Back after the fireball, you know, Caesar, you know, it's, it's very fortunate that Caesar hasn't kind of tried to challenge a lot of these fireballs at all because his, his aerials have a lot more durability. Uh, to beat up Fireball. I'm very surprised. Oh, there goes Loft. Side B again. Side. She's not that stock. We love to see it as a Smash player. Let's go. I'm also very surprised that we haven't seen... They can't seem to recover there, too. As we jump the entire uh, set over here. They can just keep playing, but I'm surprised we haven't seen a lot of the uh, up smash out of shield coming from Lost. I don't know if he's broken the habit finally, or it's just something that he hasn't been doing recently, especially against this character who seems to... Try and pressure him very, very much. So that up, up smash out of shield would do a lot. Uh, to your point, I think I think Lofts is trying to not steal the move, but make sure that when he hits it, he gets those kill options. Um, and it also could be from the nature of Sortie, where where uh, Caesar kind of spaces out of a lot of his moves. Although he doesn't get a lot of the strong hits that he wants, uh, he keeps himself he keeps himself safe uh, from a lot of those uh, unlucky scenarios. And uh, Caesar jumping around, two giving the back air. Lofts no jump, cape stall. Rolling in on stage. Back after the loop around. Again, both at dash very, attack. Very close percentage. Either player's game can come up to the next stop. Reverse up air. Not going to kill yet. He'll need a little bit more percent on that for Caesar. Fireball. He's going to stall. Get hit by up. He's not going to kill yet. Lofts in a very scary situation. Same thing for Torch Salad. Both players over 120%. Gosh. Anything can kill here for either player. Tries to dig him with the fireball. Air's gonna catch his across the stage, and down air's gonna down kill off the top. Lost just has to try and find any way to rack up a little bit of percentage on Caesar Salad to go for the next stock and combos. I think Lost really needs to play for stock here more than anything else because giving up game two with that extra stock. Fair on stage, no fair again. Holding stage, getting a charge on the up smash for a little bit more percent. Lost is doing a Lost. good job. Very, very amazing job. Really, really good job. Percent. Of keeping his stock in play while getting the advantage over Caesar Salad. Lost couldn't find that read on the up on the uh, corner though. If he got that read, it would have been amazing to see. Down smash on the jab again. Hoping for the chase with up air. Not gonna get it. Lost getting lost the opportunity. The up seem to find the perfect kill there. Nair's gonna reverse on the side. Covered on stage faster, but that landing lag definitely. Back air challenge. Lost gonna find a way to go back inside stage. Control the stage here. Dash attack chase. This could be Lost's game. All he has to do is get the kill. This is very scary. Situation. Jab. Both players. Nothing yet. Both players just in a very neutral state. Again, really want to keep their stock, but up throw. Unfortunately, going to close out Lost's second stock, and he's got to find a way to finish this game fast. Make sure that Caesar doesn't really get any percent on him that gives him a chance of winning. Lost is swapped out. Up smack again. Like well, Lost's special finally came out. I was yeah. waiting for it the entire set, but it finally came out, leaving Iona 
five to six. Like you talked about before, that that up smash, a real big staple for Lofts in the Mario community. And again, just working out really well in there um, for the Gales. Uh, you know, unfortunate that he lost game two and, and gave up the one stock. But you know, we move as like you said.